Hey everybody, I wanted to pop on here with Hans just to tell you what we were doing out here on the deck today. It's been a whirlwind to figure out what is going on in our house, um, but I'll let Hubby kind of explain why we're out here and I hope you guys enjoy this little annoying but informational video. Alright guys, this is the unfortunate result of our onion harvest this year and um not entirely sure what happened but we've pretty much since harvesting we're losing probably about 90 percent of this harvest we have what are lovely known as onion maggots or onion flies and i don't know if we'll be able to show you this on camera they're fairly small but we're looking for them I'll show you the damage the uh, it's really hard to see here, but you can see. Oh, there, there he is. Look at right at my thumb. Let's see if I can get him out of there. But there he is. That little fella. Right there, that little wiggly, wiggly squiggly thing is a maggot, is an onion maggot. And yeah, really disappointing. Oh, and he's actually way bigger than I was expecting. So that guy right there, and sorry if any of you have a, uh, a maggot phobia, but yeah, that is, uh, that's what we're dealing with. And we found out we had this issue, because as terrible as it sounds, <laughs> Our house is full of flies right now. And no matter what we've been doing, we can't seem to deal with them. Uh, we have traps everywhere. We've been trying all sorts of natural remedies. We've been trying all sorts of sticky traps and fly traps, but uh, it appears that the culprit of our fly issue is our onions. So we are going through and if we can see, here's a really good example. You can see some dust and a little tiny hole. And that's where the little buggers burrow in. And then sometimes you can see kind of dried cocoons, which is where they pupate and turn into flies. They look a lot like a house fly, except they've got these really yellow butts. It's kind of the, the way to kind of tell them apart. And, um, yeah, like I said, probably about 90% of these onions have have them in there. Um, yeah, here's another one. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, on uh, yeah. on some of these onions, even like they're getting to the point where they're just completely rotting away. Um, I think so far we found three that look okay out of out of our harvest. So um, what we've been trying to do is just peel off the outer skins. And actually, this one this one might be a good one. Um, I might try to peel this outer layer off and see. Yeah, this one looks okay. So yeah, this guy's good. There's no. No burrowing, nothing inside of the stem here. Um, so yeah, so him will save. Now these aren't fully cured yet either, so they're not really, and they're quite still quite moist. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these guys, we're gonna stick them in this brown paper bag here. We're gonna seal this up nice and tight so that nothing can get into them. And we'll probably put this next to our dehumidifier to help dry everything out a little bit quicker. And hopefully, that'll prevent anything from wanting to get into the bag. But right now, uh, we're just gonna go through all these and unfortunately, we're gonna lose most of our onion harvest this year, it looks like. But um, yeah, that's learning how to garden. So can't really, from that point of view, can't, uh, can't complain, but it is a bit of a bummer, but that's growing. 
Here's a close-up of what we were talking about. So you can see on the stem, there's these tiny little holes and that's where the maggot had entered. Um, and then we're kind of going through and you can also see here, there's some areas that kind of look like a little bit of sawdust. That's the chewed area from the maggot. So it's very obvious on a lot of these that they're not savable. Um, close up of the pupate was this. So some of them are very obvious and at least we now know the solution um, because it was getting kind of kind of gross in our house. <laughs> so we finally went through all of our onions. And this is what's left. That's what's left. This measly partially filled paper bag. And we harvested how many would you say probably? Mm, maybe a hundred. Maybe, maybe at most. And we have like maybe ten. Two. Yeah, <laughs> at best. A baker's dozen. At best. At best. Um, I mean some of them are a half decent size. <laughs> but certainly not what we expected. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a mission for me for next year to be able to grow some big onions and get a good solid harvest and figure out how to cure them and all that too because this is Definitely. not what I was expecting uh, and we love onions <laughs> we cook with onions a Almost lot every meal. so this is two dinners worth maybe yeah. three dinners if we really stretch it maybe <laughs> a serving of onion soup that's a good idea maybe we'll do that just yeah, to enjoy them just to, just to enjoy them in their fullest but I hope you guys enjoyed our fail um, and you learned something today. Yeah. And, and if we figure out how to deal with this properly in the future, we're definitely going to share it because... And finding fly traps that actually work. Because... Yeah, and if anyone has any suggestions <laughs> on how to actually trap flies once they're in your house... Um, Let us know in the comments below. We'd love, that. We'd love to know about that because the internet is a full of fly Lies. trap solutions that aren't solutions. So, so, yeah, there's, again, there's, well, our, yeah. there's our onion harvest. That's it, folks. Well, thanks for joining us and hopefully uh, you enjoy videos like this and like to see both of our silly faces. <laughs> and hopefully you don't have onion flies in your house. Hopefully not, which we're going to go deal with more of. Yeah, more cleaning to do. Yeah. Bye.